I wanted to bring you guys some breaking news from some headlines that I recently saw about AstraZeneca's uh, phase three clinical trials for their COVID vaccine candidate. As we know, uh, apparently someone became ill and the trial has been halted. Stat News has actually just released an article talking about uh, some details about the person who became ill and what might have been going on with this person. So I'm actually reading from a Stat News article. It's important to keep that in mind. Um, they say that the person who became ill in the clinical trial was a woman, first of all, um, who was in the United Kingdom. And apparently she experienced some neurological symptoms. So when we talk about the neurological system, the neurological tract and things like that, we think of the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves, the muscles, that kind of stuff, okay, movement, all that jazz, um, very general. But then they go on to say that the symptoms she had, the neurological symptoms, were consistent with a very rare but serious spinal inflammatory disorder called transverse myelitis. Guys, transverse myelitis is kind of a big deal if, in fact, um, that's really what's going on. Again, I am reporting to you from a report from Stat News, so we will have to see how this certainly unfolds. But transverse myelitis is a potentially very, very serious condition uh, involving sort of the, the spinal cord, etc., uh, and inflammation and so many other things. Apparently, this is according to the drug maker's uh, chief executive who made these statements during a private conference call with investors. Um, also, according to Stat News, the woman's diagnosis still has yet to be confirmed, so it's not been confirmed yet, uh, but apparently she is improving and will likely be discharged from the hospital very soon. Again, this is according to Stat News. Um, look, there's a lot of sort of speculation here and there's a lot of reports coming out about what actually happened, what didn't happen. Um, this is the most detailed information I have found from someone who, uh, from the person that we think is in question for uh, getting sick during this particular trial. One thing I need to say is that this is exactly why we want to do clinical trials. And, and first, let me go back even a step before that. Whatever this woman did or did not have or does or does not have, we don't necessarily know yet if it's due to the vaccine or not. See, this is actually one of the reasons why doing trials is so important, is to see what if anything happens while we're testing it and then to figure out if it's actually due to a vaccine or not. This situation, as tragic and, and disappointing and sad as it is, because right, we don't want anyone getting sick for any reason, right? This woman getting sick doesn't have to be from the vaccine, but we don't know. It could be. We just don't know. Uh, but, but this actually spells out the importance of vaccine uh, clinical trials. We want to do trials to understand what may or may not happen in uh, a, a group of people before it gets out to hundreds and thousands and even millions. So I think the most important thing to take from this situation is that this situation really is unfolding. And we are watching this like a hawk because, well, of course, we are having people die every single day of COVID, but we're sort of in a very sort of urgent situation. So these things should not be rushed. The data should not be misinterpreted, but this uh, underscores why these trials are important. Most important thing for you guys to take from this is we need to wait and see what happens. We need to see how this unfolds. We need to see if Stat uh, News' information is being confirmed uh, by other sources and, and sort of what unfolds in the days to come. Guys, I'll keep you updated. Just understand that this is why it's good that we're doing phase three clinical trials, okay? So let's watch and wait. In the meantime, uh, make sure you're wearing your mask, you're washing your hands, you're social distancing, you're avoiding groups and all that good stuff, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Please share this with others. If you're interested in daily health videos, please like and follow my page. Um, and those who send stars, I answer your questions first, guys. I'll see you soon.